the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. All right. Question. Where did Enthe go? Or is he in the back? I hope you don't mind if I just... Friend of mine, you understand? Oh, it's a cellar. Well, this is a nice little place, isn't it? Hello, Edda. And Kalaya. It's good to see you both. Back, eh? And how was our friend Caselmo? Oh. oh, you know. Scholarly. Bit curmudgeonly. Anyway, this should help translate Gallus's journal. I suppose it would be inappropriate of me to ask how you obtained this, so I simply won't. A rubbing, eh? Odd. I expected notes. Look, it's quite a tale. You'd have to buy me a drink for me to tell it, I think. That's a... that's a drink-worthy tale. I understand. Now, let me take a good look at this. Over here, please. Right, what we got? Besides a ruin. Hmm. This is intriguing, but highly disturbing. It appears that Gallus had suspicions about Mercer Frey's allegiance to the Guild for months. Gallus had begun to uncover what he calls an unduly lavish lifestyle replete with spending vast amounts of gold on personal pleasures. Does the journal say where this wealth came from? Yes, Gallus seems certain that Mercer had been removing funds from the Guild's treasury without anyone's knowledge. Anything else, Enthe? Anything about... The Nightingales. Mm, uh, yes, here it is. The last few pages seem to describe the failure of the Nightingales, although it doesn't go into great detail. Gallus also repeatedly mentions his strong belief that Mercer desecrated something known as the Twilight Sepulchre. Shadows preserve us. So it's true. I, I'm not familiar with the Twilight Sepulchre. What is it? What's, what's Mercer Frey done? I'm sorry, Anther. I can't say. All that matters is we deliver your translation to the Guild immediately. Farewell, Anther. Words can't express. It's all right, Carlia. You don't have to say a word. Well, great. What exactly is this Twilight Sepple thing? Listen. All I want is the truth to be revealed to the Guild. They respected Carlia, and she deserves better. Do whatever you can, and I'd consider it a personal favor. All right. Is there anything else? Listen. All I want is the truth to be revealed to the Guild. They respected Carlia, and she deserves better. Do whatever you can, and I'd consider it a personal favor. Right, you said that. If that's all, then, uh, thank you, Enter. If you ever manage to gain entry to the college and you find trying to rid yourself of stolen goods becoming a burden, come visit me. I've been known to handle items of questionable interest from time to time, and I'll see what I can do. Oh, right, right. You're a fence. Okay. So, what else can you tell me about Gellis? He was a dear friend of mine and a surprisingly astute pupil of Academia. I was devastated when he was killed. I suppose that risk always coexisted with his line of work. I just never thought his luck would run out. Uh, he was an academic, yet he chose a different path. Why'd he do that? Besides... criminal lack of funding, probably. Well, for the thrill, of course. He was quite clear that he felt more in his element climbing through a window rather than hunched over a dusty tome. Right. Is that how you met him? <laughs> ah, yes. Quite an amusing anecdote, actually. I caught him trying to break into my laboratory. I was about to show him the error of his ways when he made a curiously astute comment about my research notes. I was astounded, and in turn it led to a conversation. Who would have imagined it would lead to such a strong friendship? Right. So, 
If you have further need of me, you can find me in the college. Right. Uh, I'm not exactly the college type. I don't know if that's particularly obvious. I'm not the brightest orc in this stronghold. Barrel. Whatever you store orcs in. <laughs> anyway. We must hasten to Riften before Mercer can do any more damage to the guild. Right, I was just thinking that. So, before we do that though, what is this Twilight Sepulchre that Gallus mentioned? You've come this far, so I see no harm in concealing it any longer. The Twilight Sepulchre is the temple to Nocturnal. It's what the Nightingales are sworn to protect with their lives. Why would it require that sort of protection? Everything that represents Nocturnal's influence is contained within the walls of the Sepulchre. Now it seems Mercer's broken his oath with Nocturnal, and defiled the very thing he swore to protect. I mean, Nocturnal's a Daedric Prince, right? Why can't she protect her own? Sepulchre. Anyway, thieves and temples, it, uh... Two things don't add up in my mind. I felt the same way when Gallus first revealed these things to me. I think given time you'll understand what I mean. Alright. I'd understand better if less mystery was involved, but then again, I'm not the smartest orc in the barrel. As a nightingale, I've been sworn to secrecy regarding the sepulchre. I know the guild doesn't do much to foster faith, but I'm going to have to ask that you continue to trust me. Alright. <laughs> I mean... My trust is not exactly hard won. We'll do it your way for now. I'll make for Riften and scout the situation. See if I can discover what Mercer's up to. When you're ready, meet me at the Ragged Flagon. In the meantime, I wanted you to have this. It belonged to Gallus, but given the circumstances, I think he'd approve. Uh, I'll try to put it to good use. What have you got? If the Guild isn't willing to listen to reason, you might have to. Oh. Alright. I'm not exactly the lady type. Hey, wait up. I'm coming with you, Kalaya. Taking me up on my offer, eh? Good. Eh, uh, not exactly. I'm assuming you're here for more than a social call. Down to business, eh? If that was your attempt at flirting, get better material. If there's anything you need, just let me know. <laughs> uh, boys for good humor, though. <laughs> uh, bless the kid he tried. Actually, he's probably older than me. But anyway. So what we do about wow, alright. So what we doing? We're gonna sail on back to Winterhold, I think. Not Winterhold, we're in Winterhold. Sail back to Windhelm again. There she is. And then... Ah, oh, gods, there's, there's no such thing as good weather up here, is there? What did I just hear? Not sure I want to know. It is the college. All sorts of weird magical things tend to happen around here. Anyway, back to Windhelm. Then to Riften. <sighs> and then we see. That's still a hazard. You know, it occurs to me that I am in fact someone who could do something about that. However, I think it's quite a nice warning for anyone who might come in here and think about harming anyone. Alright. Well, I'm prepared to defend Kalaya. 
Guess we'll see what they think about me, eh? I'm glad you're here. I think some of these people are beginning to suspect who I am. Are you ready to face the guild? Well, ready as I'll ever be. Is Mercer in there, do you know? Then we show them Gallus's journal and hope for the best. Remember, we have proof and all he's got is his word. Fair enough. All right, let's do this. Keep your eyes open. I'm not sure what to expect when we enter the cistern. Huh. <laughs> well, depending on how angry people are, I'm expecting a knife. At least. That said, it would not be the first time this week that I've been knifed, so... Got any more of that miraculous healing potion on you? I'm just kidding. Hi, oh, Tanelia. How you doing? We're just completely normal. Oh! Whoops. Sorry about that. I didn't realize that that thing would close in my face. Not quite as bad as hitting every trap in a dungeon, but pretty bad nonetheless. Oh, this looks serious. You better have a damn good reason to be here with that murderer. Back off. Please, lower your weapon so we can speak. I have proof that you've all been misled. No tricks, Carlia, or I'll cut you down where you stand. Now what's this so-called proof you speak of? I have Gallus's journal. I think you'll find its contents disturbing. Let me see. No, it... it can't be. This can't be true. I've known Mercer too long. It's true, Brynjolf. Every word. Mercer's been stealing from the guild for years, right under your noses. There's only one way to find out if what the last says is true. Delvin, I'll need you to open the vault. Wait just a blessed moment, Bryn. What's in that book? What did it say? It says Mercer's been stealing from our vault for years. Gallus was looking into it before he was murdered. Bag of Mercer opened up a vault that needs two keys. It's impossible. Could he pick his way in? That door has the best puzzle locks money can buy. There's no way it can be picked open. He didn't need to pick the lock. What's she on about? Use your key on the vault, Delvin. We'll open it up and find out the truth. Oh, well, this should be good. We're dealing with Del- uh... Mercer's tricky door again. Alright, go on. I've used my key, but the vault's still locked up tighter than a drum. Now use yours. What? Well, go on. Now let me stand in your way. What is this? A good warning. Wish these numpties would put their weapons away. 98. It's gone. Everything's gone. Get in here, all of you. Oh. The gold. The jewels. He's so good. That son of a bitch. I'll kill him. Vex, put it away. Right now. We can't afford to lose our heads. We need to calm down and focus. Do what he says, Vex. This ain't helping right there. Fine. We do it your way. For now. Delvin, Vex, watch the flagon. If you see Mercer, come tell me right away. All right. Well, he left the baskets. <laughs> Surely they're worth something. All right. Uh, where'd Bryn go? I lost him. Pull up a seat. Have a drink. Eh, maybe later. What's all this about? Oh, I didn't realize you could get in here. Look. Before I help you track Mercer down, 
I need to know what you learned from Carlia. I mean, everything. Well, I think the most pressing of the things that I learned is that Mercer killed Gallus, not Carlia. And by that, I mean, Carlia didn't kill Gallus. But Mercer didn't kill Carlia, obviously. Aye, I feared that was the case. From that last entry in Gallus' diary, it looks like he was getting close to exposing Mercer to the guild. Anything else? God, you're a fast reader. Uh, anyway, uh, Gallus, Carlia, and Mercer were nightingales, apparently. What? Nightingales? But I always assumed they were just a tale. A way to keep the young footpads in line. Was there anything else she told you? Carlia was behind Golden Glow and Honingbrew. Trying to make Mercer look bad in front of Maven, eh? Clever lass. Was there anything else? I think that's about it. Sorry for my voice, by the way, Brynjolf. Getting stabbed in the chest is sort of taking it out of me. Then I have an important task for you. I need you to break into Mercer's home and search for anything that could tell us where he's gone. <laughs> you are asking absolutely the right person for breaking in. Or oh, breaking in general. He has a house in Rifton? Aye. A gift from the Black Briars after they kicked the previous family out. Place called Riftweald Manor. He never stays there, just pays for the upkeep on it. Hired some lout by the name of Vold to guard the place. Alright. Consider it handled. Be careful, lass. This is the last place in Skyrim I'd ever want to send you. Just find a way in, get the information and leave. And you have permission to kill anyone that stands in your way. I like the sound of it. So, while I'm there, I might do a little bit of looting. What all's missing from the vault? Better question would be, what did he leave? Mercer took everything. Even all of our plans are gone. Oh, great. Plans for what? Before Mercer took over, Gallus started collecting every bit of material he could on locations the guild could heist. Museums, keeps, estates, you name it. By the time Mercer took over the guild, we must have had a few dozen. Guilds? Oh, so how could he have opened the vault door alone? I don't have a clue. That door is impenetrable. Without two keys, it's impossible to open. I have a key, Delvin has a key, and Mercer has a key. That's it. There are no other copies. You don't think Delvin helped him, did you? Did you help him? Anyway, it's the best way to get into Ripwheel Manor. Good question. I've only set foot inside a few times myself, and that was in Mercer's company. If you can get past his trained watchdog, I think your best bet might be the ramp to the second floor balcony in his backyard. Ah, uh, right. I don't suppose the ramp is easy to access? No. It's some sort of crazy contraption Mercer commissioned for quick escapes. I'd wager a well-placed shot at the ramp's mechanism would lure it in a hurry. <laughs> right. And I'm not much of a shot. Obviously. You mentioned a watchdog? Huh. That'd be bald. A real piece of work, that one. Mercer's holding something over his head. Keeping him loyal. Talk to Vex. She used to know him very well. If you catch my meaning. Oh. Mm. Alright. Well, I'd rather not talk to Vex about that, but... Thanks for the intel. Careful at Mercer's place. I don't want to lose anyone else to that madman. No, I don't blame you, and I don't want to lose myself either. Right. I'll be honest. I, I don't even know where the door is. So it must have been pretty well hidden. Would you lot put your weapons down? Gods. Right, Kalaya. I'm relieved Brynjolf has an open mind, or that could have gotten bloody. Indeed. You, uh... You do your best. Alright. I'm off to go... Plunder a manor. Oh, goes that lantern. Every time. Now I've 
done shipboardings before. Oh, I forgot I closed it. I was like, why am I running into a wall? So, what do you think, my dear? Could a beautiful woman like you ever see yourself with an old codger like me? Absolutely. Oh, really? Well then. Oh, I'm getting out of how here. How can we make that happen? When you're in your grave, then I'm standing over it. <laughs> now get out of my way. <laughs> you gotta love Vex. I like her. She's she's good. She's a little intense, but I like her. All right. What was I saying about ship boardings? It probably wasn't important. All right. Now then. Ooh, someone's got to clean that up. Beautiful baubles and Hold gleaming on. gemstones Ouch. over here. Oh well, this is a nice little hide away. Now then, I think I've said that twice. Oh, I heard a robin. Buying and selling fine jewelry here. Which one is Mercer's place? The one with the watchdog out back. Alright, so we'll go around the back way. Take a look around, eh? It should also be one with a... Hello? Oh, what is that up there? Guess I'll find out. That seems like a good way up to me. Oh, hello. What the? Oh! Well, look at you, little guy. Just got go out running around rifting. Hello? Let's not stab ourselves on that, but I'm trying to see if... There is, in fact, oh, uh, yep, there's someone over there. So that's Mercer's place. And this is my way up to it. Nope, bad at all. Hello. Oh, nice. Not the stealthiest person. However, what I can do is wait until that big lug has hit lug has his back turned and just drop down on it. I think. I also want to see what that is over there. Hi, right, I'll give him a minute. Oh, would you look at that? Oh. Lady Maven, how may I help Come you? Come on. Is it true that you refuse to sell one of your trinkets to Hemming? Please, my lady. It was only because he threatened me. He said he'd have me thrown in the prison. Well, this is nice. He what he wanted. I can't afford to just give my jewelry away. You could just tell me what. asks for something, I suggest you respond quickly and affirmatively. Well, that's not exactly good for defense now, is it? Right, anyway. Hello, Mr. Grey Fox. And an abundance of things. I will... Contribute to that chest at some point, probably. 
or else the chest's in the actual guild. Right, now how do I get back across? Duh. Well, that'll work. Alright, Vold. Where are you? Alright, you move on, buddy. Oh, that's probably fine. This is hardly the most precarious thing I've walked across. There he goes. And we just do this. Really? Come on. Oh, for... I'm starting to think there might be something to this luck thing. There we go. Go to college, Dar said. Use your smarts, he said. <laughs> like I'm supposed to figure out which college he meant. Well, there's someone in here. This could be fun. Let's see. <laughs> Just in case. It's oh. time to end this little game. Oh, hello. Looky here, looks like we got ourselves a hero. <laughs> Sorry to play unfairly, but well. I doubt that highly. <laughs> See, the ice pick end of the hammer <laughs> is really good. Well, actually, I suppose it's all ice pick in it. Ow. Goat. That was just a little hatchet, but it did some damage. Look at me. <laughs> I look like crap. Alright. Now then, what have we got? I came in that way. Locked door bars. Alright. I'm just going to clear as much of this place out as I can. Thanks, Mesa. You know, here's a question. Who puts their bed in a room diagonally? I realise it's like facing the door, but... That's just weird. Yes, Mercer, I'm judging your design choices. <laughs> Hello? I didn't need the goblet, but here we are. Might as well have a matched set, eh? I'm also taking your cheese. Because it's tradition. Right then, uh, we'll go in there in a bit. I just don't want to see if there's anything down here. Besides more cheese. And a path to the cistern, good to know. Alright. I will not be taking that yet, because... I don't know if it's a one-way trip, and I'm sort of in the middle of something, eh? What are you? To the owner of Riftfield Manor, something something, conditions of secrecy, balcony ramp, ah. Kilthinius Dandoral. Probably Imperial. 
They've got weird names like that. Let's see. More goblets. A big sack of coin. Thank you. In our patch. And a full spec panel. Oh, hello. Well, that's nice. I'm sure that doesn't activate traps or anything. Let's see. Oh. Oh, it sure does. Alright. Well. Let's be smart about this, shall we? So this... ...is functional. That is not. Alright. So the ones that look like they're pyre, pyre, pyred, yes, powered by fire salts, don't walk on those. Light works. Right. Hello, chesty. What have we got now? Some badness. Right. <laughs> Great. <laughs> okay, so we're we're just going to hope that we don't hit any of these, eh? Run. Out. Good enough. <laughs> and we're not going back through there again. Any scones trickery or anything? No. Nothing on these walls here. I don't want to turn my back to those things. I'm afraid I'm going to get hit again. I see that. Nope, 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 nope. Let me do that. Just give it a little tickle, as they say. Oh, but... You're right. There she goes. Don't do it. It didn't do it. I'm gonna keep well back anyway. Oh, come on. And go. Alright. Wow. Wait, wait, wait. Can I... <laughs> Sneak it out. The last Yagonian maid. Why am I not surprised? Many thanks. Uh, what is this? Not certain how you managed to get your hands on that item we discussed, but I'm more than pleased. I thought you'd simply wait until it was being transported from... Until it was being, of course. Transported from Castle Dower to its final destination, but according to what I've heard, it vanished right from their armory. Wish I knew how you were able to slip by the guards, bypass the portcullis, unlock the armor armory door, and break into that door and puzzle lock the chest. You need to teach me that little trick sometime. Who is R? And where is the drop spot? Because I want a piece of that, I think. Take the plan. Take the gold. What is this? Uh, not something I'm interested in. Take that, because that's probably useful. Hello. Take gems. 
I take that. All right. So. I think that's it, I. Please, no traps. Is someone there? Maybe. And we're just going to go. I guess I was just here. One stealthily done job. That's great. Now I really want to know. Delvin, that last shipment we heisted on the Cyrodiil frontier was worthless. That's impossible. I distinctly heard that lout in the tavern say it was a full shipment of furs. They should be worth a fortune. You idiot. He said furs, not furs. It was a damn logging caravan. <laughs> uh, Delvin? Stabbed right, in the back. It's like the dark brotherhood all over again. Sold me. Sure, what happened to the dark brotherhood? Only one problem. You said it can make the darkness as clear as day when you drink. Uh, right. I've got a couple things for you. I've got a lot of things for you, like uh, the ship model. Well, well. I was looking for this little beauty. If you happen to cross any other unusual trinkets like this, be sure to bring them to me. I promise it'll be worth the effort. What a delightful find. This should cover it. Nice. I've also got a Dwarven puzzle box. Well, well. I was looking for this little beauty. If you happen to cross any other unusual trinkets like this, be sure to bring them to me. I promise it'll be worth the effort. It's worth quite a bit, actually. Quite a catch. There you go. This should make you smile. And last one. I just found, in Mercer's house, a Buster the Grey Fox. Well, well. I was looking for this little beauty. If you happen to cross any other unusual trinkets like this, be sure to bring them to me. I promise it'll be worth the effort. Must have come from Mercer's place. He'd admired the Grey Fox for some time. Sure, I'll buy it from you. Here you are. Alright, sounds good. I remember that I've got that numbers job to do also. This is getting dangerous. Don't let anything get a jump on you. I'm doing my best. Goes for you too, I think. Now then. I want to know two things. One of which is what is up there. The other of which is where does Mercer's house come down? And why do we have coffins in here? Who knows? Right, right, right. There's Carlyle. Is it going? How can I help? I'm not sure you can ride at the moment, but you just keep doing your thing. It's probably not anywhere in here. Is this a door? Oh, these are vaults. Okay. Don't mind me poking around, Brinio. I've, uh, I've discovered things. We've scoured the town and I've spoken to every contact we have left. No sign of Mercer. Any luck on your end? He wasn't there, but I found these plans. Shore's beard. He's going after the eyes of the Falmer? That was Gallus' pet project. If he gets his hands on them, you can be certain he'll be gone for good and set up for life. Well, then we've got to stop him. Sorry, I'm looking for anywhere that something might, like, drop down out of the ceiling. Anyway, we've got to stop him. Agreed. He's taken everything the guild has left. 
and to go after one of the last greatest heists is just an insult. I've spoken to Carlia and made amends for how the guilds treated her. Now she wishes to speak with both of us. Quickly. We have no time to lose. Yeah, great. But until next we meet, lass. All right. Have everything you asked for. Oh. I hope this deal goes through. Putting quite a bit of time. And the last oh. oh, oh, he's got a... I don't understand. Okay, then. You just better hope this one isn't another waste of my coin. Okay. I knew there must be something like that over here. Well, now I know. Right, what's this about? Brynjolf, the time has come to decide Mercer's fate. Until a new guildmaster is chosen, the decision falls to you. Aye, lass. And I've come to a decision. Mercer Frey tried to kill both of you. He betrayed the guild. Murdered Gallus and made us question our future. He needs to die. We have to be very careful, Brynjolf. Mercer is a nightingale, an agent of Nocturnal. And it's all true. Everything I heard in the stories. The nightingales, their allegiance to Nocturnal, and the Twilight Sepulchre. Yes. That's why we need to prepare ourselves and meet Mercer on equal footing. Just outside of Riften. Beyond the southeast gate is a small path cut up the mountainside. At the end of that path is a clearing and an old standing stone. I'd ask you both to meet me there. Both of us? I have some preparations of my own to make. I'll meet you at the stone. All right. I'm preparing to leave for the standing stone. What is it? Just making sure everything is as it should be. Right. I'm just going to find a bed for it for a while, I think. It was a long day. In fact, I think I'm just going to grab this bed and sleep with my ammo on me because I don't trust most of these people. <laughs> 